As you know, they're trying to build a mosque right here. It's just two blocks away from the World Trade Center. And a lot of people will argue through freedom of religion, they should be able to do it. But do you believe it's the right thing to do in general? Yes. Do you care to elaborate? Well, it's, it's uh, private property. Uh, it was purchased fair and square. Um, uh, Imam Faisal needed a bigger place. He's been teaching over here on uh, 245 West Broadway for the last 20 plus years. And uh, it was a little brownstone that he had with uh, three or four hundred people coming every week to hear his sermons. He had to have double sessions. So the logical step was to get a, a, a bigger place to serve the community. So uh, Sharif El Gamal assisted him in purchasing this, this uh, lovely building. and. Uh, away we go. So uh, we had no idea that it was going to create this uh, uh, media frenzy, but uh, it's been fascinating. But that's what makes America great, uh, the fact that uh, people can voice their displeasure or voice their support. So, Are you personally friends with the Imam? Are you personally friends I'm, with him? Uh, I'm a follower of his. I've been, I've been following him for like 20-something years. We've known each other that long, yes. Is there a reason why he won't sit down with Governor Patterson and talk about relocation? Uh, there's no point to relocate. We should, we should, we should, we should, we should, we should, we should be here. It, it would be, it would be, it would be, it would be, it would be uh, good for us to be here only because people need to understand what is Islam and what is not Islam. And, and, and unfortunately, uh, through the 9-11 tragedy, a distortion has happened. And Imam Faisal will will speak to that uh, because of this project, and that, and that, that's the benefit, and that's the blessing for the community in New York and for probably the world now that it's become an international phenomenon. So, well, one question that a lot of people want to answer that nobody's answering is where is the funding coming from for the mosque? Uh, the funding will come from Muslims for, throughout the world, uh, and. You know, that's that's just a private matter. It's it's not uh, necessary for people to disclose who the contributors are. It could be contributors on a personal level, or it could be contributors from corporations, or it could be contributors from other other businesses, or it could be contributors from other countries. It it, it, it could become from several sources, but that's that's really not important. That's. It's important that the the, uh, the project gets off the ground, and it's important that the uh, the, the project uh, comes to its uh, fruition. And Hamas came out in support of the mosque, and as you know, some people will call them a terrorist organization. And the Imam didn't correct them; he didn't make any attempt to do. Well, Imam has spoke out against uh, terrorism, uh, the fact that it's 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 it's. Uh, it's uh, forbidden for a Muslim to commit suicide. A Muslim cannot knowingly take his own life and also knowingly take others, other innocent people along with him. Uh, he has spoken out about this concept of, of uh, uh, martyrdom, which is, which is uh, what we call a distortion of Islamic belief. It is not legal for a Muslim to knowingly take his own life or, or to think that it's possible to go to heaven by committing some sort of suicide act and then taking innocent people along with you. There's no such thing in Islam. And that may be the, the best thing about the hullabaloo over this project, the fact that there's so many false distortions about what Muslims believe and how Muslims can act, that uh, this thing can probably be settled uh, intellectually as far as, as far as those kind of falsehoods that's been going around. Hamas, we don't know anything about Hamas. Hamas is on the other side of the world. They have uh, uh, their own sets of problems. Uh, I have never personally spoken to anybody from, from Hamas. I don't know if the Imam has. The Imam is an American Muslim. He believes in the American Constitution, American society, uh, truth, justice. He also points out that uh, basic Islamic beliefs coincide with American Constitution and, and American society. Well, one statement you were talking about terrorism that the Imam did make was that 9-11 was an accessory to the U.S. policies. Has he made clarification on that, or does he believe that U.S. policies are well, why 9-11? does he really have to? I mean, you, we can study our own history. I'm, I'm an American Muslim born and raised. Uh, we've, we've taken note throughout history how, for instance, uh, the Iranians complain about us uh, taking... Uh, 
President Mustard Day off off of uh, uh, the uh, he he won an election in Iran in the 1950s, and the American uh, intelligence agencies uh, took him out and, and installed the Shah, uh, and that actually led to Imam Khomeini coming to power because he opposed the Shah to that. So. That's the kind of thing that the imam is trying to explain. Those kinds of policies, American foreign policy, uh, has has really led to the kind of uh, uh, opposition by Muslims throughout the world in terms of how we have treated them over the years. I mean, you you, know, you, you take out duly elected people in other countries and you put uh, tyrants like Saddam Hussein to, to rule over the population, of course they're not gonna be happy with Americans. So. That's what he was explaining. He wasn't. There was no confusion about that. That's that's basically what he was speaking to in terms of how American foreign policy affects what we do. Okay. Let's just say hypothetically that people said if they really, if you guys release the records and how the mosque is being funded, it would just end the feud with everything. They just want to see the records and who is putting money into the mosque. Yeah, you guys that, 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 that's unprecedented, though. Nobody goes to religious organizations and says uh, who's your contributors. They don't do it for Jews, Christians, Muslims, Buddhists. You know, that would be unprecedented. Would it? Would, wouldn't you think so? So, well, just in last week, President Obama came out and spoke on the issue in support of the mosques. Do you believe it was the right thing for the president of to do? Of course, the president's been wonderful. The mayor Bloomberg has been wonderful, and most Americans who understand their constitution understand the greatness of America. We're not like Saudi Arabia, who have a closed society, or we're not like other countries, where dictators rule. Uh, it's 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 it makes sense that, of course. You know the political leaders don't want to get involved in some in, in a personal issue, which is uh, building a place of worship and a community center on private property uh, with, with, with with funding from contributors. That's what it's all about. Thanks. Okay. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you.